Hey, I'm Megan and this is the face behind the hands you usually see on my channel Glue Guts and Roses. I thought it'd be super fun to do a countdown of my top 10 Dollar Tree DIYs for 2018. 2018 was also my first year on YouTube. It's been amazing, awesome. So thank you to everyone who has commented or liked or even disliked because I think that still helps like pushing your video out. I'm not really sure, but I'm excited about 2019. Let's go ahead and start the countdown. Number 10 on my list are my $2 farmhouse hooks. And all I did for this was take an over the door hanger or hook from Dollar Tree. And then I got one of these strips from Home Depot, 96 cents. They will cut it down for you, which they did. And this stuff is lightweight. So I put it together just using duct tape and hot glue. I spray painted the hooks black and then printed out one through six on the printer and cut those out. Then just taking pliers, I bent back the part of the shelf that's supposed to go over the hook. It was pretty easy. Using regular glue, I attached the numbers, painted the wood white, attached it with hot glue because there's no tension on the wood. The hooks hold up fine just using screws. And I love the way this looks. I had this in my entry forever and now it's in my children's playroom. Number nine on my list is my large burlap initial letters. And I just used foam board and burlap and Mod Podge. I traced out the letter H because that's for my last name. And then I also traced out an additional inch around the perimeter of the H. Using a box cutter, I cut through the foam and then I lightly scored the sides of the H so I could fold it back to make it three dimensional. Using regular packing tape, I just taped down the side so it stayed in place. And then I used Mod Podge to attach the burlap to the letter. I did this on the sides as well. And from using Mod Podge, it made it really strong and firm. I love this letter. It can hang on the wall or it can stand up by itself. It's about 16 inches tall. Number eight on my list are my farmhouse soap dispensers. These were super easy. All I did was get the soap dispensers from Dollar Tree and a little jug. I spray painted the tops black. Using Mod Podge, I printed out a little thing that said hand soap, applied it to the soap dispenser, and then I also spray painted the little jug white, filled it with lotion, and put the little soap pump back on there. These are super cute for very cheap, and they look a lot nicer than your normal Jergens soap container. Number seven are my salt and pepper shakers. I love these and get a lot of compliments from these. Using these jugs, I took off the little white piece by removing the metal part. I reattached the metal part and then just regular salt and pepper lids. You can get these from the Dollar Tree as well. Fit on there perfectly. And then when you close the metal part, it keeps it nice and tight. I use S and P, cut them out and using Mod Podge, I attach them to the containers. These are awesome. I get compliments on these all the time, like I said and the little metal part keeps the lid in place perfectly. Next is going to be my 24 inch spring wreath. I love the way this looks. I use dogwood from the Dollar Tree and then the flexible tie in the floral section from the Dollar Tree. I made a circle with the flexible tie and then I just went around and wrapped the flowers Randomly, I wanted this to be whimsical, not too symmetrical, and then I just used hot glue to reinforce the back. I love this wreath. I had it up all spring, all summer, and I cannot wait to put it back out. Number five are the frames that I use next to my TV. These are super easy to make. All you do is take two Dollar Tree frames. I printed out a picture, and using an Expo marker, I traced out where I want my frame and my glass to go. Then taking the Dollar Tree spray adhesive, I spray the glass part, apply the paper, and then apply the second layer of glass. I also put burlap behind the frame. And then when I apply the last little frame, the spray adhesive keeps it in place. I let it dry 24 hours. I love the way this looks. The only difference for the ones I did in my living room is I just painted the frames a little bit differently and I love the way they look. They, I get a lot of compliments on these as well. People are blown away that these were only $2. I saw some online for like 50. Number four is my rope sign. I love the way this turned out. All I did was take Dollar Tree rope, some craft paper, and I wrote out the word home 
Then taking hot glue, I glued the rope to the craft paper, tracing my word. When that totally dried, I ripped away the craft paper and the hot glue stayed on the back, but I wanted it to be a little bit more firm, so I laid it out on some wax paper and just used regular Elmer's glue, put it all over the sign and let that dry overnight. And now it's hanging in my entryway. I absolutely love this sign. Number three is my chalkboard wreath. I love wreaths, obviously. I have a little bit of an obsession, but I love chalkboards too. All I did for this was take a tray from the Dollar Tree and some contact paper. I got this on sale. Obviously, they have contact paper at the Dollar Tree. I put contact paper on here because the chalkboard paint I use will not stick to the tray, but it will stick to the contact paper. Then using hot glue, I attached Dollar Tree moss to the outer rim, and I picked up some floral picks from Dollar Tree and then some 97 cent floral picks from Walmart and randomly hot glued it around the wreath. I love the way this turned out. I originally made it for fall, but I've used it all through fall and through winter. I now have it up again. And number two on my list is another wreath. It's my hula hoop wreath. I feel like this is my most underrated video. I love this big thing. All I did was take a hula hoop, some fern from Walmart, Dollar Tree floral, and Dollar Tree twisty tie. I took the twisty tie all the way around the hula hoop, and for $5, this is how much fern you get from Walmart. Using the hot glue gun, I went around and glued down the ferns. I was able to do this about two and a half times with the amount of fern you get from Walmart. And then I went back and applied the little 97 cent picks I got from Walmart. And here it is, this thing is almost three feet wide. It's amazing. I get compliments on this as well, and I just love the way it looks. Number one is going to be my joy sign. I really blew my mind with this. Using four Dollar Tree signs, I hot glued and duct taped them together, flipped it over on the back and painted it white with chalk paint. And then I just took a colored pencil, connected the lines and stroked my pencil back and forth to give it a wood look. To make the sign more secure, I just used a Dollar Tree candy cane, but you can use anything really. I printed off the letter Y and J, painted them red, and I'm using a Dollar Tree wreath for my O. Using hot glue, I attached the wreath, and I used Mod Podge to attach the letters to the sign. I did end up using some red berries from the Dollar Tree because I really feel like it completed the look. I just love the way this turned out. So that's the end of my list. Number one, my joy sign. I really loved it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, let me know what you think. That's always weird. Let me know what you think in the comments. Yeah, I don't know. Just let me know what you think. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, it's nothing new, but maybe it's something you hadn't seen before. So thank you again for watching. I'll probably catch you next year.